Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I know today is rewards day. I know there's a lot of stuff going on with the market in terms of week and league rewards, possible market rise, but I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit early about road to the final. And this kind of goes hand in hand with maybe selling some of your investments and maybe selling some of your teams after this weekend or during this weekend as the market is still high because I do think there's a chance that just like last year, the road to the final promo is going to or could have the possibility of crashing the market this year inside of FIFA 21 because this road to the final promo is one of the most popular promos from the past two years after it came out in FIFA 19. And I'm going to be showing you guys some things related to last year and how the market has gone this year so far that has really started to make me think critically about what is going to happen this weekend, starting Friday, Saturday, and especially after Sunday on the market. So let's talk about the loading screen update first. We did get a new loading screen update yesterday. And this man right here, Simple Blue 88 aka Patrick, this guy does, I believe he does the, um, the, he does the foothead predictions for team of the week and stuff like that. Uh, he had this little bit of info based off of the loading screen today. So of course, uh, there was like, the left side here was something along the Fletcher Moss Rangers CFC, which I guess Rashford and Lingard have both played for. And then this date that was down here is the date that uh, Coutinho signed for Barcelona. So he is thinking, and this is likely, right? It's all, EA tries to always like give us little teasers with these loading screens, but it is possibly happening that we could get a Rashford and a Coutinho road to the final cards. And that's where we start the conversation today because road to the final... EA goes all out with this promo. We're going to look at the promo page from last year and just talk about this a little bit. We're really going to go in depth today on a lot of market stuff and a lot of stuff that happened last year. I did a lot of research building up to this video today just because I think this is another crucial kind of turning point where we are headed in the market right now as we're heading to Black Friday in like three weeks down the road. We've got icon swaps coming up. We've got icon SBCs possibly coming up. So all that stuff is kind of lingering on the horizon. And this is a big promo that's going to start it all off, in my opinion. So again, the player selection is the first thing I want to talk about with Road to the Final. Like we already have possibly coming, based on this tweet, Rashford and Coutinho. Those are two big name players. Rashford, one of the most popular players in FIFA 21. Look at the players that we had last year for the Road to the Final uh, team number one. We had Conte, Mane, Dybala, Son, Allen, Dembele, who was incredibly OP last year. Mares, Sancho, Komen, Militao, everybody remembers this card. The, the names, uh, the cards that were in even just set one of Road to the Final. There was a batch two that came out as well. Yoris, Alba, Goretzka, Bale, Depay, right? Big name, Martial, Immobile. There's some really, really big name players and the card and player selection inside of this promo is huge. So that's the first thing that I think has possibility to crash the market is there's going to be really insane players getting special cards, especially of course, with the supposed cards we could be getting already in Rashford and Coutinho. Now this is the team that we all know. This is the flip and shot and screen that we all know from last year. And of course, why uh, I, I did mention that this promo caused the market to crash last year, but there's a lot of stuff that also happened around this same time frame that made some certain cards go down at certain times. But again, around the November 8th time frame last year, I'm going to show you some inform cards. I'm going to show you some gold cards, just a lot of really meta players last year in FIFA 20. I'm going to take you through right now what happened to their graphs. All right. So first things first, right? November 8th is the day that this promotion came out. November 8th, 2020, 2019 was actually the date that this promo came out. So take a look at Tillman Sun's graph. We can see on the November 8th, November 9th timeframe, Sun's card is at its peak. Literally last year, these golds peaked right before the road to the final promo a lot. If you go back and look at a lot of these graphs, like this was the time frame where gold cards peak, the really meta ones like Sun, Aubameyang that we're going to look at. And then he started dropping off. And you can see this through that first week of Road to the Final, bounce up a little bit. And then after that, he keeps going down until Black Friday. And then of course, goes down even further into Team of the Year. But this is where a lot of stuff started to tail off last year. Same thing with Aubameyang, right? On November 8th of last year, right? Now, Aubameyang went down quicker last year because at the same content drop time, November 8th last year when Road to the Final started, we also had the SBC for Player of the Month, Jamie Vardy. It was like an 83 rated squad is what it all it costed for an 86 rated 
very OP, very meta Jamie Vardy striker card and that crashed like all the strikers on the game. But you can see that that, you know, his price did not rebound after this. Obama went from 287,000 coins down to 180, 190, and then barely even got close to 200 after that. So this was like the beginning of the end. Uh, a lot of these cards peaked at this time last year. Let's look at a guy like Leng Lei, who was very, look at this rise, right? From 23,000 coins day one, even 63K first week. This guy went up to peaks of almost 130,000 coins. November 8th comes around, right? Of course, this guy is an 85 rated. And after that weekend league, especially, a lot of the market dropped on the Saturday and Sunday with weekend league sell-off a lot of the market dropped because there was a lot of content that was coming out. There's a lot of road to the final SBCs that people wanted to get involved with. And of course they wanted to buy these new cards, right? People go nuts, man. And that's the trend that we're going to be seeing. We've already seen it this year, right? With all the fluctuations on ones to watch cards, like they're going to get in team of the week. They're not going to get in team of the week. And we'll talk about that. Um, kind of cover what happened with the new team of the week that came out yesterday in a little bit, but People go crazy for ones to watch and live items like Road to the Finals. That's why this promo is such a big market mover. Take a look at Varane last year. This guy on November 8th, 270,000 coins, dropped all the way down to 198. So there was a big time market correction on golds. Same thing with informs. Mares out of packs, peaked at his highest point, 129, that entire next week as he did get into Road to the Final himself. He definitely went down after that. Antoine Griezmann, a very popular left wing inform card last year, November 8th. Where's he at? 490. Where's he dropping the next week? He drops almost 100,000 coins to 400K in that next week. So, informs, icons, golds, it all came crashing down after this promo last year in Road to the Final. And what happened with Road to the Final cards? They did the exact, exact opposite. They went sky high after this promo and even through Black Friday because Champions League was going on. And of course, because these cards were extremely, extremely rare and very meta. We'll talk about that in a second too. Now, a lot of these cards, why, why else does the market crash, right? We have a lot of these cards that are available in the game that people want to go and use, right? They want to, they're not gonna use ultimate scream cards uh, last year, right? They didn't use those as, as much. We had a couple guys like Odomendi who were very good and, and usable. But right after we got the Odomendi scream card, we had this Joe Gomez Road to the Final SBC. Now imagine that card this year in FIFA. That'd be insane. But this is the card, one of the cards that I want to highlight, right? Very, very meta item that was in last year's Road to the Final team. And a lot of the cards graphs look like this these guys reached their lows on sunday night right before squad battle rewards and literally some of the cars never hit that low price again again think about it right live items they're upgrading with champions league a lot of these cards had champions league games in november that they kept winning right to move on until the um knockout stages and that's why these cards kept going higher and higher but they were so rare and some of them were so meta because the team selection was so good and so many people wanted to use these cards in game because of the, the sick dynamic images the sick card design and the stat upgrades that these cards absolutely boomed out of packs and these cards are going to take over fifa this week when we do get the new team i'm going to be completely honest Yes, Rule Breakers is kind of cool. It's fun. I think a lot of Rule Breakers cards are going to drop off in price when these live items come out because the focus is going to switch to these guys. Let's take a look at another card that I believe did very well out of packs. I think Sancho did pretty well, um, but Allen was another one that was just very, very popular. Sancho out of packs did not do as well, actually. Uh, Allen was one that I wanted to look at, though. Allen was, look at this, man. Literally, Sunday night was 284,000 coins. He goes up to 450k at the beginning of December, as of course he does get upgraded in that time frame for the last match day of the um, the knockout, the, the group stages to go on to the knockout stages. And then of course we have the big drop off for team of the year. But the real thing that I want to get in your guys' minds is the possibility for a market crash after this weekend or during the week this next week is very very high because last year this is kind of like an overview of the promo content that we had last year on november 8th uh the sbcs we got we had joe gomez a couple pack supply sbcs we had a jesus corona sbc that came out as well and the biggest one that also ruined the market a lot more was on that second friday uh of ones to watch i think it was actually thursday of team one we had a the first team of the week upgrade 
inside of FIFA 20 Ultimate Team last year. So a lot of SBCs are going to come out in this promo. Uh, and of course, at the same time as this promo is coming out, we're going to be getting new Player of the Month SBCs, right? We've got possibly Kane, possibly Hyunmin Son from the Premier League, possibly Luis Suarez, possibly Mbappe for League One Player of the Month coming out in the next couple of weeks as well. Lewandowski player of the month card like we are getting towards the time of the year we're a month into the game that if you do not have SBC fodder stocked up in your club if there's not a big SBC during the first couple hours of the promo coming out this Friday with Road to the Final it's going to be a fantastic time because these cards are already starting to rise a little bit as people are starting to expect big SBCs coming uh, and I would stock up, even if it rewards today, if you do see some of these guys drop down, if some people are opening their packs, then I would get on some of the open bids on 84 to 89 rated cards. And if you have a lot of coins and you're going to be, you want to be ready to do SBCs in the next couple of weeks, you can just start to do that and stock your club because a lot of people are starting to buy into SBC fodder because they do think this is going to happen. So how does this affect you? If you have cards in your club right now, or if you have cards inside your transfer list that you have invested in that um could possibly go down with all this stuff with all this market movements and all this stuff happening on the game with of course what are the final cards coming more content and all that jazz right a guy like anthony marshall an 84 rated striker card this would be somebody that i would be a little bit worried about i know he's 84 rated he's continually getting packed he's still a very good card in this game but we have a lot of premier league strikers in the game now with informs with other special cards and he's 84 rated, so I would be very, uh, I wouldn't be very surprised if a card like this dropped off a lot this weekend, right? Even a guy like Usman Dembele, who's already dropped off a decent amount, but the guy is back up to 48,000 coins, right? This would be another card that I would expect to drop off after this promo, just with Road to the Final and all the hype that there is around it. Other things that you would expect to see drop during this promo, I, I showed the screen already just for a second, but Rule Breaker cards, right? I have, I feel very strongly that a lot of these rule breaker cards, yes, they're rare. They had less than 1% pack weight. If row to the final cards from 50K packs, like the, this team did, this team had less than 1% pack weight, rule breakers team one from 50K packs. If, if the row to the final players had that same pack weight, they're going to be so rare and they're going to rise so much out of packs. It's going to be nuts, right? So we're going to definitely watch the pack weight with those row to the finals. But I think what this opportunity is here is with a lot of these cards inflated, I would honestly take the safe route, take the safe route with a lot of these rule breakers, a lot of um, out of packs in forms, even a lot of really meta gold cards like a Rashford 250k for this 85 rated card. Yes, he's possibly going out of packs. Uh, Varane's 330. I mean, what was Varane last year when we were looking at him? Where's the Varane graph? Varane right here last year uh, is 280, 290 at his very highest as an 85 rated card. Now I know this year, uh, Varane, where'd he go? Is 86, so he's plus one rating and people know about him, so he has more hype and he's one of the best center backs in the game. But this might be 350,000 coins after rewards into Friday. I would probably take the cash this weekend and just get rid of it, take the money. Guys like Allen, Lucas, Ben Yedder, they're gonna continue to drop um, with a lot of the pack supply. So a lot of stuff, especially on those out of packs in forms, right? We look, take a look at team of the week five that is just out of packs. Gomez went from 430 is now almost 500. Valverde's over 300. If we take a look at some of the earlier team of the weeks as well, St. Maximin's 350, Renato's 220. I would err on the safe side. Teo Hernandez is 145, more expensive than Furlan Mendy. Uh, and I would say not as good. I would on err on the side of caution here with a lot of these cards and probably take the cash on a lot of these after awards today and um, into the morning on Friday. And, and basically, if, if there are any of these cards are in your team, I would look to sell your teams this weekend. I really would. Uh, now, I know this is kind of like coming out of nowhere. And yes, the market is really high, but think about it in this in this way, shape and form too, right? We haven't really had a crash on the market where a lot of cards prices really corrected in about two and a half weeks. If you think about it this way, Joe Gomez was up here uh, at you know 110,000 coins right before the full game released, dropped down, went back up to 120, dropped down again. Now these guys are really, really booming up, but we're only three weeks away from Black Friday, man. Only three weeks away from Black Friday this weekend. And I think that's gonna start getting into people's minds with this road to the final promo. So. 
Again, just a lot of stuff coming at you today in this video, but the main point, if I can make one, would be uh, if you're gonna sell cards this weekend, I think that's the best move. If I know it kind of sucks to like be playing with an untradeable team or to use lower rated cards or lower skilled cards, but I feel like you might see a lot of cards drop off in value this weekend. A lot of people might be inclined to sell if the content is good. Now, if the content is no good, and for some reason the players that they release are not good value, like they're not big name players, which would not be likely, but I guess it's possible, then I think you would see maybe the market not drop so much. But just being careful with it, I think that you might want to take some cash this weekend just to be safe. And I do think you're going to see the market coming down after this stuff is out based on the examples that we saw last year and just knowing how addicted people are to live upgrading items. And we've had Champions League games literally every week for the past three weeks and another week next week of Champions League games. Champions League is hype right now because it's happening all the time. Not to mention that a lot of the UK and some other countries across the pond from me are back in lockdown. A lot of you guys watch this video are back in lockdown. And that just means more eyes on the game, more eyes on FIFA, more people trying to make coins, more people maybe being ambitious and tempted to sell cards because of promos and stuff that are coming out. So just be careful with that. And that's why I would recommend probably getting out this weekend. This might be the high point before we head into Black Friday. So we'll see if that is the case. Now, just a little bit of, a, uh, um, I guess, a review on the content yesterday. I have heard some people are not a fan of the uh, MLS thing here. I think this is sick, dude. This is really solid content. It's not crazy to figure out. It's MLS. Yes, it's a lower league, um, but the players that they gave you, they gave you Lima, they gave you Bohan and Aaron Long. All of these guys you can make a nice little triangle with and put into a hybrid squad with some Spanish players if possible, or you could just run Lima and Long and then link Opara to them and then use, I don't know who you use in goal, but uh, you could have maybe an icon goalkeeper in goal if you wanted to. And I just like the idea that EA is giving us more players to go and grind for in the other um this is in live foot friendlies this, this this i know it can be a little bit sweaty in foot friendlies but this is not in rivals and i think that's a w so ggs to ea giving us tons and tons of objective objective content this year in the game now the last thing i want to talk about is the new team of the week uh because i know a lot of people are not super hyped up about this team of the week it might be the worst one that we have gotten in this game so far benzema felix nabry um Ziyech, uh, like that's it. That is really the, the notable players. A lot of the rest of the team is going to be close to discard. A couple of pacey strikers in Jervinho and uh, Callum Wilson. Jervinho is kind of cool with the position change. Um, of course, you got Chris Smalling, who's an older FIFA legend. Uh, and then this is the one that's the most confusing. Joao Felix. This guy is extinct at 300,000 coins. I do not expect him to be extinct tonight out of rewards, especially since on Xbox, he's already down at 250K. In fact, I'm gonna go check on the market and see if he's here because um, I think this card is overpriced. Yes, it does look pretty good. And a lot of strikers are overpriced in this game right now. Uh, but I think as a matter of fact, this card is just too overpriced. His links, oh my gosh, dude, he's still extinct, bro. He is still extinct. That's crazy. I, I know this guy doesn't have that great of links. I know there's some Portuguese links that are going around right now. Um, of course, with Renato Sanchez, a lot of people are hyped up using him. Um, but I don't think this card is really going to be worth 300,000 coins in the long run. You might see him dip down a lot today with rewards and then bounce back after that. Still a very meta card with the five-star skills and the four-star weak foot. He does fit the game's meta pretty well. So I do think you might see a decent rise on him after rewards today. But for the rest of the team of the week, uh, I mean, it's kind of a sad one if I'm being completely honest. Uh, and if a lot of the ones to watch is today definitely took a hit like Gareth Bale as a ones to watch card. A lot of the leaks that were put out last night were saying that he was not in. So we went from like 260 down to 220. And now he has since rebounded back up to 230 because he does play today on Thursday um, in Europa League. So this is what I would say, boys. I know a lot of this market was kind of, a lot of this video was kind of looking ahead into the next couple days, and it is a bit of a longer video, but I wanted to lay, lay it all out for you guys, kind of show you the market movements from last year and how I honestly expect the market to act very similarly this year, because it's been a couple weeks since we've had kind of like a downturn, right? The past couple weeks, card prices have just been sliding up. We've had two new promos, putting some supply on the market. Nothing has really been going down. Nothing uh, really panic-wise 
has happened except for low rated gold cards have been dropping it seems about the time to where ea every couple weeks man they just like to they like to shake it up they like to release a promo and of course with this road to the final promo coming i think that's the perfect thing that could shake up the market and possibly cause a lot of things to drop in this game so just be a little bit careful this weekend i'm gonna buy some cards yet tonight right before rewards to try to flip into tomorrow and make some coins um but other than that i'll be very careful this weekend cash out on your stuff if you really want to just take it as a warning right if you love your team and you don't want to sell it then by all means keep holding on to those cards but i'm just saying that the content this weekend could possibly drop the market just like we saw it happen last year so we're going to find out more information about this promo in the next day or so and of course on Friday when it comes out, but we will see what EA Sports has in store for us this year with Road to the Final. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.